Well, Pittsburgh wears different hats from time to time. Some days it's a sports town, other days more of a movie town. And as our Royce Jones reports, it's about to become a comedy town. He's here now with how a local artist is hoping to make that happen. Royce, we need this. We do need this. We could all use some laughs. Ken, if you follow comedy, then you've probably heard of the name Steve Hofstetter. And in which case, then you've probably also heard of the huge project that he's been working on over in Stanton Heights. Tonight, we caught up with him to chat about the new space that he's creating to give fellow comedians a stage. I've always enjoyed Pittsburgh. I toured here a whole lot, did shows at pretty much all the colleges, as well as some independent, independent venues and some of the clubs. Steve Hofstetter is a comedian known all over the world, born and raised in New York, previously lived in LA, and most recently moved to Pittsburgh, bringing his passion project, the Steel City Arts Foundation, along with him. It is a wonderful place for a stand-up comic to be based logistically, because it's so close to so many other markets, and so much of what we do is road work. Um, but also, it's affordable, uh, it's physically gorgeous. His vision for the foundation was big enough to fill this old church in Stanton Heights, which includes a three-bedroom house next door. He bought it in early 2021 and has spent the past two years upgrading it, transforming it into a state-of-the-art studio and home for artist residencies. And what that allows for is mentorship, uh, use of equipment, which, you know, a lot of comedians when they're starting out can't afford cameras, can't afford lighting, can't afford the things that you need to produce an independent show, to create web content, things like that. It's all funded through Hofstetter's own wallet, donations and fundraising. Even the old Rex Theater donated some old equipment. It's been a lot of work, but the foundation's success stories have already been worth the investment. To give you an example, uh, one of the comedians, uh, Learn More Jonasi, is famous in Zimbabwe. But now he's trying to break into the scene in the States. Um, and so we were his first foray into that. Hofstetter would also like to use the building as a community art space and host small scale alcohol free performances. But before this can happen, there are some zoning hurdles that he still has to hop over. The process is long and expensive, so no timeline on that part just yet. And because of the zoning issue, some of the work that they'd really like to do inside that building have to wait for now. But in the meantime, the foundation has been doing all kinds of other stuff around town, producing shows, shooting a film, and planning a comedy festival this June. Ken.